Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, you'll learn how to get started using Google Tag Manager. You'll learn how to create your first container in Google Tag Manager, how to add a Google Analytics tag, and how to implement the Google Tag Manager code on your website. You'll be up and running in no time. Let's get started. To start, we need to log into Google Tag Manager and then select Create Account. A Google Tag Manager account is like a folder. If we're just looking after a single website for one company, then we just need to have a single account or folder. However, if you're going to be managing tags for different companies, then you should create a separate account for each company. If you're already familiar with Google Analytics, then you'll want to create a separate Google Tag Manager account for each Google Analytics account. Just remember that each Google Tag Manager account is used to track websites for one individual company. Let's name the account. Select our location. And choose if we want to anonymously share data for benchmarking. Then we need to name the container. Each Google Tag Manager account can have one or more containers. When we create a container, it will give us a unique piece of code that we need to add to our website. This code will then automatically load the tags that we configure inside Google Tag Manager. Most people use a single container to manage the tags for a single website. However, you can add your container to multiple websites. For example, if you're configuring cross-domain tracking. Again, if you're already familiar with Google Analytics, then containers are like properties in Google Analytics. If any of these terms are a little confusing, then I recommend checking out my Google Tag Manager glossary. I've included a link to my glossary in the description below this video. We can also select how we will be using Google Tag Manager. I'm going to select Web, but you can see there are options to use Google Tag Manager for managing tags on iOS apps, Android apps, and AMP HTML. We need to agree to the terms. And we now have our new account and our new container. We can see the Google Tag Manager code that we need to add to all the pages on our website. If you're going to implement the code directly on your website, for example, in your template file, then you will need to copy the JavaScript tag and the NoScript tag. If you're using a platform like WordPress, then you can add the code to your template or use a plugin to add Google Tag Manager to all of your pages. Or if you're using a platform like Squarespace, then you'll need to add the JavaScript tag using the code injection option under advanced settings. This lets us add code to all the pages on our Squarespace site. I'm going to start by using a plugin to add Google Tag Manager to WordPress. So I don't need to copy the entire code. I can just copy the container ID. Now let's head to WordPress. I'm going to select plugins. Then add new. Now I can search for Google Tag Manager. There are a range of plugins available, but I'm going to use the Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin. Then we need to activate the plugin. Add our Google Tag Manager ID. and click Save. That's it. Now the Google Tag Manager code will be added to all the pages in WordPress. There are a number of options you can explore in the plugin, so take time and decide if you want to use any of these settings. Now let's take a look at how we can implement Google Tag Manager on another platform. We're going to look at adding Google Tag Manager to a Squarespace website. So let's head to Squarespace to take a look. This website is on a Squarespace business plan, which means I can add custom code to the website. If you're on a personal plan, then you won't be able to add the Google Tag Manager code to your website. On a personal plan, you can use the inbuilt Google Analytics integration or upgrade to the business plan if you do want to use Google Tag Manager. I'm going to use the code injection option to add the Google Tag Manager code to all of my pages. So let's select settings, 
then advanced, and code injection. We can now add the Google Tag Manager code to the header section, and click Save. This will add the code to all the pages on our Squarespace website. I just want to highlight that if you're using Squarespace's built-in option for adding your Google Analytics property ID, then it's important to ensure you're not doubling up on your tags. I've included links to extra resources in the description below this video. Now it's time to add our Google Analytics tag to Google Tag Manager. Let's head back to Google Tag Manager, and click Add a new tag. We name our tag, Then we select Tag Configuration, and select Google Analytics. We can then select the drop-down under Google Analytics Settings, and choose the option to create a new variable. Now we name the variable, and we need to enter our tracking ID from Google Analytics. You can find your tracking ID by heading to Google Analytics and selecting Admin. Then we just need to select Tracking Info, and then Tracking Code. The tracking ID is shown at the top of the page. Now we can head back to Google Tag Manager. Enter our tracking ID, and save the variable. We then need to define when we want our Google Analytics tag to fire, so let's select Triggering. And since I want the tag to fire on all pages, I'm going to select the default All Pages Trigger. Let's save the tag. Now we need to publish our Google Analytics tag to our live website. We need to click Submit. Next we name the version. Versions allow us to see the different changes we've applied to our website. It gives us a version history, so we want to use a version name that provides details about the changes we've made in Google Tag Manager. Now we just need to click Publish. That's it. Now the Google Alex tag has been added to our website. You can also use Google Tag Manager to add other tags to your website, and also configure additional tracking for Google Analytics. You can find links to my other tutorials in the description below this video. So that's how you can start using Google Tag Manager to add tags like Google Analytics to your website. As we've seen, it's easy to get started. Then when you're ready, you can begin using Google Tag Manager to configure more advanced tracking on your website. For example, you can use Google Tag Manager to track how far down pages people are scrolling, if they're watching embedded YouTube videos, and other custom interactions. If you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager, then join me in my Google Tag Manager course, where you'll learn practical skills for implementing tracking and other tags on your website. You can find a link to join the course in the description below this video. Are you using Google Tag Manager? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.